the metro area of the Quad Cities should start to see floodwaters hit its high point come tomorrow. It's already in the top 10 largest crests on record. Tonight, News H Joe McCoy talks with those soaking it all in from Davenport Skybridge. A moment of awe and amazement. Interesting and sad at the same time. As onlookers hover over the streets of downtown Davenport, now submerged in feet of water. In a downtown area, which you expect vibrancy, it's shut down. Joseph Zebeny is in town from yeah. Wisconsin for his granddaughter's dance competition. And we don't see this up by us. We might have some high water tables and small rivers, you know, whatever, but nothing like this. For Joseph's relative Larry, who has lived in this area for almost 70 years, this isn't shocking. I I have seen it a little bit higher, but this is right up there with the tops. A compassionate family not taking chances. My thought is how businesses are going to re, you know, recoup from this. I feel bad about looking at this as a spectacle. I feel more, <laughs> more empathetic and sympathetic to the people. I'd be a little leery about putting the kayak in with the water. There's a lot of uh, trees and just stuff you don't want to run into. Sue Dow lives in Davenport. 2019 is, of course, the biggest one we ever had, and this is really close to it. Um, I came up here then, and it looks about the same. Her beloved River Drive bike path that she rides almost every day would be like riding through a pool. I was surprised with the railroad track, and it looks like it's going to be a long time before we get back on the bike path. Although the flooding is bad, the system seems to be working. Well, I'm glad to see that the barriers are holding. Right, that we're not having flooding on 2nd Street. Now we wait and see how long it takes to recede. In Davenport, Joe McCoy, WQAD News 8. Experts predict a crest of 21.6 feet to hit the Quad Cities tomorrow afternoon.